Okay, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make an info box text look chunky and have hierarchy. And it's done through a combination of variables. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to work on it and pause it, work on it and the pause it so I can fit it in the five minutes I have here to do this video. So you can see here I have just the basic text here. I have the categories of dogs, cats, hamsters. These are best um, mammal-like pets or whatever. And you can see here I just have times, and it's just as I typed it in, it's 12 on auto letting, 14 on 14. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, change it to a sans serif uh, font and tighten up the letting. So I'll just click it in here, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to choose Arial, which is a form of Helvetica. So, and that's a really simple one, okay. And I'm going to change this down to 10. And I'm going to change this to 10, so it's flat letting. And see how just right there, boom, it got um, a lot uh, chunkier. Now, the other thing I'm going to do here is, is uh, turn off the preview so I can see this thing, so you can see how it looks better. All right, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is um, make an official heading. There's a couple ways you can do this. I mean, you could keep it the way it is uh, and just boldface um, the heading. So now they all have their own heading. and I'm going to boldface these, right? And I might even make them black or something, but I'm just going to boldface these for now. Okay, so it's flat letting. Uh, now I'm going to justify it. Uh, justifying it gives it a very linear kind of a look. Um, so that works. Now what I've talked about in class a lot is this idea of, okay, probably too much space here. This is just a normal, you know, double hard return in between there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each of these. I'm going to look at the letting. I'm going to go down to about six. So see how, and I double click in here and see how it makes that little black area. It means it's selected the line. So I'll do that on each of them. And then the whole thing kind of feels like one unit, but each of the units are separate. Okay. The other thing I want you to notice is that all of the different chunks or the different sections are relatively the same length. It'll look weird if one of these is like that. Well, I'll just let me delete this part right here like this. See, it just it, so you want all of them to kind of have equal size, not exactly the same size, but relatively equal size, and that helps an info box uh, remain chunky and have hierarchy. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is put a border around it. So I'll go up right up here and I'll put a one point border. One point's probably thick, but, and now also there's not a text inset. So I want to create a text inset. And I'll go that by going up to Object, Text Frames Options. And I'm just going to start here with a 0.125 inch, which is an eighth of an inch. Okay, and hit OK. Oh, let me ch check and see what I'm doing wrong. Hang on. Not sure quite why, not sure why that didn't work, but I'm going to put five in there. I'll hit OK. There we go. I'll pull this down. Okay. So now it kind of looks nice. Um, I don't have a heading there yet. Okay, so I added a heading here. Um, it could be a little bit larger, but that's looking pretty good. I don't like the weight of the the heading so let me see what I can do there let me mess with that a bit and then I'll show it to you because I'm running out of time okay I've made the section headers just a little longer to give them more weight they just they weren't quite weighty enough um, and then maybe just add a little color in the background so I added some color and then the other thing I would do is see how this they've got a widow here it, it creates some awkward space here I'm running out of time so I do that bring this up a little bit so I have equal distance around and there's a nice kind of chunky info box made very quickly.